Hi, and here it is, our long-awaited video for our top 10 Philadelphia Union goals from the 2023 regular season. Starting off with goal number 10, Mikhail Uwe's second goal of this match against Toronto FC. It's a ball in by Bedoya into Gazak. Fantastic turn there. And Daniel Gazak's just going to slot this ball in to Mikhail Uwe. Mikhail Uwe is going to take a touch away from Richie Larea. And what a striker finish there with the left foot from Mikel. This is the game that everybody thought Mikel's finally going to break out. Gets a hat trick in this game with a third goal in the second half. And th this was a fantastic performance from the Union's attack. This ball in by Daniel Gazak where only Mikel Uwe can get to it. The touch away from Richie Larea sets him up with a terrific finish here. But I love this spin here by Daniel Gazag. Fantastic footwork. And the vision to find Mikhail Ua. Mikhail Ua, th th this is the positions where you got to get him in. You, you got to get him in behind the back line. And more times than not, he's going to finish off chances like that. We're going to go ahead and check out goal number nine. Again, Mikhail Ua. This one comes all the way at the beginning of the season in March against CF Montreal. And it's those two players once again connecting Daniel Gazag and Mikhail Ua. Fantastic finish here by Mikel. A striker's finish. And this is where you want to see these two players. If the Union can capitalize on this in 2024, this team's going to be okay. You, you want to get both of these players centrally. You want to get Mikel in one on one situations. You want to get Daniel Gosling in the middle of the field. That's great vision by Daniel Gosling to find Mikel Ua. And it puts the Union up in this game. Uh, the Union wound up losing this game to Montreal. But this is exactly what you want to see from your two DP players and Mikel and Daniel. Goal number eight, Jose Martinez versus New York City. And this is just a great transition moment here by the Union. Jose Martinez is highlighted there. Just pay attention to his positioning here on this screen. Ball up top to Quinn Sullivan. And Quinn Sullivan is going to see... Jose Martinez here, completely unmarked, fantastic ball in, but an even better finish by Jose Martinez. Uh, this was a breakout season for Jose. Three goals and the regular season. Who had that one on the bingo card? And in this type of goal here, this this looks like your typical striker finish. Fantastic run by Jose Martinez. You can see just completely unmarked. Quinn Sullivan does a good job to hold this ball up and then Find the late run by Jose Martinez. Terrific, terrific, terrific stuff here by the Union. And this is one of three goals in our top ten by Jose Martinez. And it's it's a well-deserved goal here for the Venezuelan. Goal number seven, Julian Kranza versus Colorado Rapids. Again, great transition moment here. Jack McGlynn into Olivier Baizo. There's Julian Kranza right there on your screen. The cutback, the finish outside of the 18-yard box. Terrific goal by Julian Kranza. And uh, unfortunately, for the Union this season, we saw a lot of inconsistency from the Union's front three in Gaza, Kranza, and Mikau Ua. But this is where the Union are at their best, when they're hitting on transition moments. Great cutback here by Olivier Terrific finish by Julian Carranza. And this is why teams in Europe want him. Because of these type of finishes, this type of movement from the Argentine. And the Union will go on to win that game. Goal number six though. Julian Carranza versus New York Red Bulls. I love the pressure here by the Union. You can see Red Bulls down a man here. Damian Lowe with the interception. And the Union are just going to go ahead and push men for it. Great header one here by Nate Harriel into Alejandro Bedoya. Bedoya is going to go ahead and cross it all the way to the back post to Kai Wagner. And it's a terrific ball in by Kai, but an even better finish here by Julian Kranza. And again, these type of finishes by Julian Kranza are why teams are interested in the Argentine. He does so well to get himself whether it be outside the box, inside the box, to know the space to attack. And not many better on the Union's team do it better than Julian Kranzer right here. The Union wind up winning this game against New York Red Bulls 4-1. But I love this moment here. The Union, as soon as they win that ball back, they're going for it. 
It's the ball in by Alejandro Bedoya into Kai Wagner. First time pass into Julian Kranz and that left footed finish by Julian. It doesn't matter if it's on his left. It doesn't matter if it's on his right. Julian is going to find the back of the net when you give him that much time, that much space inside the 18-yard box. And there's nothing Carlos Cornell could have done on this. Just a fantastic finish here by Julian Carranza for goal number six. Goal number five, though. Leon Flock against Inter Miami before Messi arrived. And this is a fantastic finish by Leon Flock. He's not known for his finishing ability. This is great awareness by Leon Flock to run into this space. Good ball in by Baizo. And the ball back from Alejandro Bedoya into Leon Flock. This is great stuff here by the Union. Fancy flick by Daniel Gazag. And not all the time those flicks come off. But this is one of those moments. The flick by Gazag into Bedoya. And terrific finish by Leon Flock at the top of the 18-yard box. Right before into Miami, pick up Lionel Messi, and they absolutely demolished the Union and League's Cup. Goal number four, though, Kai Wagner against Colorado Rapids. This is a fantastic ball in by Bedoya to find Julian Carranza, who lifts his head and finds Kai Wagner outside the 18-yard box, and there is nothing that William Yarbrough could have done to save this shot. It's a terrific finish by the Union's left back. You don't see that every day from Kai Wagner. The Union didn't get a ton of goal contributions from the outside backs this season. But when they did, they made them count, whether that be Nate Harriel off his set pieces or whether it be this fantastic finish here by Kai Wagner. Good hold-up play by Julian Kranza to lift his head to fight Kai. And Kai Wagner picks a shot. Nothing Yarbro could have done there. A, a, Terrific goal. Number three, though, Julian Kranza versus CF Montreal. Look at the run here by Julian. Goes completely unmarked. This is a good hustle by Matt Real to keep this ball alive. And this is just world-class stuff right here. To pick out that tight corner to place the ball between the two defenders here by Julian Kranza. It does not get better than that. And these last couple goals, it gets so hard to pick them and line them up exactly where they go. Yes, you can have made an argument, okay, maybe this goal could have been number one. Maybe it should have been number two. Uh, but regardless, this is a fantastic goal here by Julian Kranza. It's, it's offended decently, but Julian Kranza picks out a little bit of space and there's nothing the goalkeeper could have done about this right here. Again, another goal outside the 18-yard box. It doesn't, doesn't matter if Julian's inside the 18, outside the 18. He's going to find a way to finish it more times than not. And again, I said it before, I said it again. This is why teams want Julian Carranza. Goal number two, though, about to come up. Jose Martinez against FC Cincinnati. And look at the, the, the ball movement here by the Union. Good footwork once again by Daniel Gazzag. Jose Martinez completely unmarked. One touch. Finish. Absolute rocket from the Venezuelan. His third goal of the season. And now you start thinking if you're Union fans, well, yes, we want to see Jose Martinez shooting from distance more and more. If he's going to put it in the back of the net like that. And the one thing I love about watching these goal celebrations when they cut to the crowd. Just picking out people that I recognize in the stadium. A couple people there in that video right there that I noticed. Noticed in uh, one of the clips. Uh, Jillian and my sister Shelby. But uh, th this goal here. Fantastic, fantastic finish by Jose Martinez. And you give him that much time, that much space. You know... Jose's not going to put them all on target, but the one thing he's going to do is he's going to send a rocket towards goal, and that's exactly what he does right here. Just fantastic, fantastic finish. Knows exactly where he wants to place this ball. There's nothing Celitano could have done on this. Jose Martinez gets his third goal of the season. But to nobody's surprise, goal number one, should have won goal of the year for MLS, is Jose Martinez's goal against Orlando City. Ball in by 
Kai Wagner defended, cleared away, and Jose Martinez. An unreal hit. Mikel Uwer's expression says everything you need to know about this goal. Did he really do this? His first goal of the season ties the game up in the 90th minute against Orlando City. And you can see how much this means to the Union's players. Ball whipped in, cleared away. Nobody's on Jose. There's no reason why Jose Martinez should be scoring this goal. There's no reason. You clear it away, you do your job, and you think, does this take a deflection? No, it does not. And we can see it right here. The, the, the swirl on this goal. Unbelievable by Jose Martinez. And there are your top 10 goals from the regular season for your Philadelphia Union.